Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Um, today's lesson is about M&Ms. How many people like M&Ms? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people like M&Ms? All right. We have lots of little mini M&Ms here. And the lesson today is that Christians are like M&Ms. So there are three things about M&Ms that show similarities to Christians. Number one, M&Ms are marked with an M. First of all, Christians are marked or sealed with the Holy Spirit of God. This verse says, Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. But we are also marked for a purpose and focus. We are marked for ministry, M for ministry. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorned its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So, number one, we are marked, just like an M&M &M has an M on it, we are marked for ministry. That means that we need to try to bring others to Christ. There's lots of bad things going on in the world, and the more people we can bring to Jesus, the better the world will be. Isn't that right, Addie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number two, M&Ms come in a variety of colors. What colors do you see here, Addie? Green, brown, red, and orange, and blue, and yellow. That's and lots of colors, isn't it? What's that one? That one's red. That one is. God has created each of us unique in many ways, too. Although we are called to ministry, we each are uniquely gifted. We have different backgrounds, different personalities, and we can use those gifts and talents in different ways in the church. Some people are really good at singing and leading songs, like your daddy, right? Does daddy lead songs at church? Yeah. Yeah. Some people might be better at teaching classes, like I like to teach classes. I think it's really fun to teach the baby classes and the little toddler classes. Um, some people might be better just um, serving the community in quiet ways that nobody knows about. Either way, any way that you can help in the church is perfect. That's what you were made to do. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There's different kinds of working, but the same God works all of them in all men. That's 1 Corinthians 12, 4 through 6. Think about it. We vary in our colors, too. Red could represent red hot and bold and competitive. Some people are really competitive, and that can be really good in the church and bringing others to God. Some people are blue. Blue can represent calmness, dependable, solid, people that we can trust. Some are yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. And yellow can be friendly, positive, creative, encouraging. I think a lot of those things represent who I am as a person, so there might be a reason why I like yellow the best. Some this people... Blue is my color. Blue? Okay. That's my favorite color. Favorite color is blue? Mm-hmm. All right. This one's green. Green can represent analytical. That means that they think a lot, things think, think, think things through. Um, they're not quick to make judgments or decisions. Um... Organized, which is very important to be organized. Um, practical and decisive. So you might lean on these friends to help you make good decisions. Some are orange. Orange can represent someone being assertive, outgoing. Oh, I don't want one right now. Thank you. You can eat one. Okay, so orange is assertive and outgoing. So those people at church that come up to you and talk to you and shake your hand and ask about how you're doing, those people are very important. That can be orange. And then brown, Addie likes to eat the brown M&Ms. 
Brown is warm, inviting, trustworthy, and wholesome. So these can be the people that invite you to go places or maybe um, call you when you're feeling down or sick and help you feel better. But God has his way of blending all of these colors together, all of these personalities together, and these spiritual gifts, blending all of them together. And um, it makes a unique, um, a unique experience in the church of different people from different backgrounds. Yes, what? Because his name is Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> okay, so God has his way of blending our backgrounds, personalities, and spiritual gifts into unique individual ministers for his kingdom. So all of us blended together, we fit best to bring others to God. We work together to bring others to God. And number three, M&Ms are filled with, what's inside an M&M, Addie? Chocolate. Chocolate. M&Ms are filled with chocolate. I love chocolate. Me too. But what do you think Christians are filled with? What are we filled with inside? Do you know? Food. <laughs> That's right. But and dessert. And dessert. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right now you are. Um, but Christians are filled with God's love. Do you have love inside of you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, M&M candies can teach us um, object lessons on the gospel. Just as M&Ms are all different looking on the outside with their various colors, so God has created each of us unique and different. Like an M&M, although we may all look different, we're all created to be filled. Okay, like an M&M is filled with chocolate. Yummy. But we are made to be filled with God's love. That's even better than chocolate. Yeah. Without the chocolate, an M&M is just a fragile shell with no taste. And so we, without God's love inside of us, are fragile and empty too. 1 John 4, verses 9 through 16 says, This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. We know that we live in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in him and he in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. Also, because of how M&Ms are made, they're easily shared with others. You can see that I'm sharing my M&Ms with Addie Jane, and she offered me an M&M earlier, so she's sharing back with me. God's love is made to be shared through sharing the gospel, which is the good news of Jesus Christ. 1 John 4, 19 says, we love because he first loved us. So, the next time you're eating M&Ms, I want you to remember all of the lessons that they teach. I'm going to um, share something else with you about M&Ms. This is M&Ms and prayers, and this is a fun activity that you can do with your family all together. So, I'm going to send this picture out through... Um, the email, the church email, I can also post it on Facebook for everybody to see. But um, I thought this was something fun that you could do as a family. So this is how to pray with M&Ms, all the colors of the M&Ms. So for, if, okay, this is what you do. Let me explain that first. You put the M&Ms into a cup, and then each person in your family draws an M&M out of the cup, and whatever color you get, that's what you pray for. So I'm going to tell you what the colors um, represent. Green. If you get a green M&M, you pray um, to thank God for one gift or one good thing in your life. If you choose a blue M&M, you pray for a friend or a neighbor who needs help or who needs to know Jesus. If you pick a red M&M, 
you pray for somebody you love. That's easy. If you get a yellow M&M, you pray for our leaders, which our leaders in our country really need our prayers right now because they're making some tough decisions. Um, so pray for our leaders or those God has put in charge of something. So you could also pray for the leaders of your school because they've got some decisions to make too. Or you can play, pray for our elders and deacons, the leaders of our church. So there's lots of different people that you could pick to pray for. Um, orange. If you get an orange one, pray for someone who is sick or hurt and needs healing from God. And then last, if you get a brown m and pray for yourself. Tell God something you're sorry for or tell him something that's worrying you or something that you need help for. And after you pray, you can eat your m and So y'all can do that as many times as you want to. Eat as many m and as you want. And all of my m and are pretty much gone. So Addie's had her fill. <laughs> you silly. Okay, I hope everybody has a happy Sunday, and I hope you enjoy your M&Ms. See you later. Until then, bye. Bye. <laughs>